All right. Once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rukar, Kwadash. In the balance, being to the apostles and the other great millstone. To all the Akims worldwide, I want to say Shalom and be unto you. This is the word from the GMH Trainer Camp. Just been out a quick edification. Three spirits and the power of the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. No one is entitled. Some of us have rebelled against the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yushai. And in doing so, you know, basically the Lord will have put us in slavery. Because of our, as we rebelled against the Lord. And up to this day, um, we are still in slavery, we are still in bondage mm-hmm. under Esau, the Edomites, you know. Um, you know, for, so it's time like, you know, we wake out of that slum, it's time that we stop rebelling against the Lord, the Harba Shemesha, and being a rebel. And, um, you know, being a rebel is really bucking up and going against the word of the Mosai and Shemesha. So, basically, I have some scriptures and precepts to back up. How we have rebelled against the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, and how we have turned our back against Him. So I start with Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-seven to forty-eight. It says, "Because thou served not the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai in power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things." Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord Shai shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that will have happened to basically the Israelites, you know, who were scattered was scattered worldwide um as we are we were put in slavery we were put yokes of iron upon our necks we were sold these other nations will have destroyed us they were brought up very low and that the world was a curse that was given unto us by the Musa and Washem and Shai you know, for transgressing and rebelling against him you know being a rebel you know, it's, it's um, verse 49, And the Lord Yehovah Shemeshai shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Yeah, because after today we are still speaking our, our enemies language which is the English language and not our original tongue which was Hebrew you know so we have rebel against the Lord we has we have done things against the Lord um Lord Sassy and Commandments That is not pleasing in the sight of the Most High of Hashem and Shai. No? Um, 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22 to 23. And Samuel said, Had the Lord of Hashem and Shai has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness as is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh Shai, he had also rejected thee from being king, and that was Saul. So yeah, we come to the term rebellion again, which comes from the word rebel. 
So let's see what the blue letters say about rebellion. Forty-eight oh five. Marie, 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 Marie. Nasi, Nasi term for rebellion. Um, so say rebellion, rebellion. Let's go into the strongs. Um, says um, bitterness. Um, rebel. Let's go into um, the word rebel. Mm. And so when you go into the normal word and the word rebel, it says a person who rises in opposition or armed resistance against an established government or leader. And we know in this case, the established governmental leader would be the Mosai Yahabba Shem Yishai. And then we being rebellious towards him would mean that you're not keeping the laws and commandments of the Mosai and you wish to do your own thing. And basically, as Saul was, Samuel was telling Saul, you know, that Sacrifices is one, but obedience is better than sacrifice. So, you know, obeying the voice of the Mosiah Hava Shemesha is better than trying to sacrifice and rebel against whoever he will have set up, you know. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 11 it says, An evil man speaketh. Uh, evil man seeketh <coughs> only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger sh shall be sent against him. <laughs> yeah, a man who, who is evil who is, who is against the most high. Because if you're against the most high, then you become evil. And he will only seek rebellion, seek against, seek, seek to rise up against, you know, the ruler that's over him. Who ultimately will be the most high of Ashimisha and then it come down to only men that will have set up. But then it will have come against the word of the most high of Ashimisha as well. And you know, in, in today's time, there is no room for rebellion, there is no room for these things. Because the most high of Ashimisha is going to destroy you know, all these rebels. You know, like I remember uh, Moses in the, in the wilderness. You see, you rebels, you wish that I fetch water for you and, and you hit the rock instead of talking. And, you know, that's when water came out abundantly. You know, sometimes when you rebel you against men of the Lord, they are of estimation, you know, they get angry. And you, you then provoke the men of the Lord, but you provoke the most high of estimation as well to wrath. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 18, going on to 23, it says, Come now, and let us reason together, said the Lord, the Ham Vashemishai. Do your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Do they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat of the good land. And if ye be willing and obedient, and following the voice of the Lord Yahabashem Eshai and doing as well. You know, things will be good. Hopefully. Verse 20, but if he refuse and rebel, 
he shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord in Ham Bashemesh has spoken it. And that's why he put the curses upon us as well. You know, if we rebel against going back to um, Deuteronomy. If you rebel, things will be bad. If you keep the law, sense, and commandments, things will be good. Verse 21. How is the faithful city become an harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged it, and now, but now, murderers, now our people scattered to the four corners of the earth, indigenous, Latinos, and native. And what Israel goes back to, you know, the seed, because our people are scattered among the other nations as well. Now, some of us have become murderers, you know. Thy silver has become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Yeah. Thy princes are rebellious and companies of thieves. Everyone loveth gift and follow it after reward. They judge not the fatherless, neither do the cause of the widow, neither do the cause of the widow come upon them. You know? And that's our people now. We are rebellious against the Lord of Hashemeshai. That's why the Lord of Hashemeshai scattered us. That's why we are a low people right now among these heathens in the world. That's why these Edomites and them are ruling over us. That's why the Edomites have all the strength over us. Because we rebel against the Lord of Hashemeshai. So we have Isaiah chapter 2, see, this one says, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord of Hashemeshai, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's how all people today, we are rebellious children. We're rebelling against the Lord of Hashem Eshai. We're rebelling against our government. Our government who is the Musa of Hashem Eshai. But nevertheless, you know, the Lord of Hashem Eshai is coming back to make right all the wrong that you Israelites are doing. All the wrong and the abomination has been done on the face of the earth currently. That's why his man is in the four corners of the earth currently crying and sighing for our Lord to return. You know? So I hope this was edifying to you. You know, with that, I want to give our praises to the Most High Ha Vashem Mishai, Vashem Makan Kodash, and to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know, God bless you unto you. For the Akims worldwide, they are pushing this truth. You no, know, stay strong in the will of the Most High of Hashem Eshai. And we see that the time is fast approaching for the end of this kingdom and to the beginning of a glorious one. You know, stay strong. Shalom.